Once upon a time, there was a young girl named Sophia who lived in ancient Greece. Sophia was known for her intelligence and her love of learning. She spent her days reading books and studying with the local scholars. Her dream was to become wise like Athena, the goddess of wisdom. One day, Sophia decided to seek the help of Athena herself. She traveled to the temple of Athena in Athens and prayed to the goddess. To her surprise, Athena appeared before her and offered to teach her the ways of wisdom. Under Athena's tutelage, Sophia learned about the different aspects of wisdom, such as unbiased judgment, compassion, self-knowledge, self-transcendence, non-attachment, ethics, and benevolence. She also learned about the practical skills needed to create a fulfilling life, such as weaving, which symbolized mastery of practical skills. Sophia trained rigorously under Athena's guidance, and over time, she became known throughout Greece for her wisdom. People from all over would come to her seeking advice and counsel. Sophia used her knowledge and experience to help others, always acting in a productive and compassionate manner. As Sophia grew older, she passed on her wisdom to others, just as Athena had done for her. And so, the legacy of wisdom continued to be celebrated and studied throughout the ages. Even today, people continue to aspire to cultivate wisdom as it empowers them to make better decisions and lead more fulfilling lives. Once upon a time, there was a wise old man who lived in a small village. He was sought after by many young villagers who sought his guidance in matters of life and conduct. One day, a young man approached him and asked, What is wisdom? The old man replied, Wisdom is the capacity of judging rightly in matters of life and conduct. It is the soundness of judgment in the choice of means and ends. The young man was impressed and asked the old man how he had gained such wisdom. The old man replied that it was gained through knowledge, enlightenment, and learning. He went on to explain that wisdom was not only about acquiring knowledge but also about using it in the right way. Charles Haddon Spurgeon once said, Wisdom is the right use of knowledge, and the old man agreed with this statement. He further elaborated that the attitude of wisdom was, acting with knowledge while doubting what one knows. The young man was amazed by the depth of the old man's wisdom and asked him how he had come to possess it. The old man smiled and replied, I have lived a long life and have seen many things. I have made mistakes and learned from them. I have listened to others and gained knowledge from their experiences. But most importantly, I have always tried to foresee the outcome of my actions, understand the implications of all the available options and choose the option that offers the maximum benefits, whether for present or future gains. The young man was grateful for the old man's advice and promised to always remember his words of wisdom. Do you want to explore more Greek mythology stories? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.